All right, in this short demo, we're going to show you how to get Kaggle store sales time series forecasting competition turned into a Qflow pipeline using the KFP SDK. All right, the first thing to do is to make sure that you've generated an API token for your Kaggle account, as we're going to need this information in order to create a Kubernetes secret so we don't have to pass these credentials in clear text when we run the pipeline. We're also gonna assume that you've got Qflow up and running. For the purposes of this demo, I'm gonna be using Arictos Qflow as a service. So from the Qflow central dashboard, let's go over to the notebooks view and create a new notebook. Here, let's go ahead and give our notebook a name. Let's also change the default uh, settings here to give us one virtual CPU as well as eight gigabytes of RAM. And we're gonna to wanna to bump up the storage to 10 gigabytes. And with those changes made, we are ready to go ahead and launch our notebook server. And once the notebook is up and running, let's go ahead and connect to it. And this is gonna go ahead and bring up our JupyterLab UI. Let's go ahead and open up a terminal. And from the terminal, let's create a Kubernetes secret uh, that's gonna be using our Kaggle credentials. So here, just sub in your username and your API token and run the command. And once this command is run, we're ready to now create a resource.yaml file. And the purposes of this resource.yaml file is to create a pod default. So go ahead and paste the contents that you see here in the screen, save that YAML file out, and then we are ready to go back to the terminal and now apply uh, the contents of that resource.yaml file to turn it into a pod default. Next up, let's go ahead and git clone the Qflow slash examples repository. And once that's been downloaded, let's navigate to examples, locate the store sales forecasting directory, and then open up the KFP notebook. First thing to do in the notebook is to do a pip install of the KFP SDK. And once that completes, we're gonna want to restart the kernel. So let's go ahead and do that. And with the kernel restarted, let's go ahead and do our import of the Qflow pipeline components. And let's also import our packages like pandas and Kaggle and sklearn. And now we're ready to actually start building out the components of our pipeline. So let's go ahead and first uh, build the component that's gonna download our uh, Kaggle data. And then let's also run uh, the code that's gonna turn that component into a container. Next, let's create our next uh, pipeline uh, component, which is gonna be the load data component. And then let's go ahead and turn that component into a container. Next up, let's run the code that's going to create our create features uh, component, and then run the code that is going to turn that um, container into, or I should say that component into a container. And then our train and evaluate model uh, component run that, and then also run the code that's gonna turn that component into a container. And then finally, we're gonna to want to run uh, the forecast sales uh, bit of code, and that's gonna be our uh, final component. And we're also gonna to wanna to turn that component into a container. So now that our pipeline is defined, we're ready to actually use uh, the domain specific language to uh, put some inputs, some outputs, some arguments, set some paths. And with that, we're ready to invoke the KFP client and now run the pipeline. And you'll see that we have a run details hyperlink. So let's go ahead and click on that. And this is gonna take us to the runtime execution graph where you can see our pipeline executing in real time. You can see that we've created a volume. We moved on to our first pipeline step, which is going to be downloading the Kaggle data set. Once that completes, we move on to our next pipeline step, which is the load data step. And then after the load data step, we move to the create features pipeline step. And when that step completes, we move on to the train and evaluate model pipeline step. And when that completes, we move on to our final pipeline step, which is going to be the forecast sales pipeline step. That's it, our pipeline is run. Let's go ahead and click on the forecast sales step. You can see you have your inputs and your outputs, snapshots, visualizations, details, volumes as well as log information. So for example, here we can see the forecasts of the different products at the supermarket, event information as well as artifact information. 
And that's it. You have successfully created a Qflow pipeline uh, using the KFP SDK for Kaggle's store sales time series forecasting competition.